This piece right here is, pro is easily the oldest piece in the museum, although it's not exactly a sign. It's what I would call a salesman sample. It bears a little bit of explanation. So this was an album. These actual glass panels were created by George C. Brooke in, in 1870. If you look at these panels, let me turn them here. So these were pages in this album. The, page, the album had paper pages and George C. Brooke gold-leafed and hand-painted glass panels and glued them on the pages inside the album. When we acquired the album, a lot of the glass panels were cracking. So I got the idea of framing each panel that could be turned. So this was page one, obviously George C. Brooke, sign writer. This was the back of page one or page two in red specimen book. This was page three, across from page two. So they were like this, page two and three. So it says specimen book critique. Today we call it a portfolio. But this is exquisite, finely detailed gold leaf. This guy was a master of masters. He was apparently, from what we could, could research, from Portland, Oregon. Um, there's actually mother of pearl inlay in some of these. If you look at this L right here, this is what we call a blended shade. This is pre-airbrush. They actually blended the paint to kind of create a 3D look on the letter. Um, if you look at this last panel, it says the end. This was actually glued on the inside back cover of the album. Now, you'd think the end, that this was a picture of George C. Brooke, who created this portfolio. Actually, this was a picture of a soldier who was killed in the Civil War. So what this piece was, it was a salesman sample to pitch these to families that had lost a loved one in the war, maybe an uncle, a son, a father. But if you think about it, it's a little bit morbid. It says the end. It's the end of this album, this portfolio, but it was also, unfortunately, the end of this guy. And if you look, there's little figures on either side of the oval frame around the uh, deceased who are mourning the loss of, of, um, of whoever this, this individual is. Now, that seems a little weird to us today, but if you think about Victorian times, and this was 1870, um, they would actually take pictures of the family gathered around the casket, and they would often save hair from the deceased. So they had a different attitude about death than we do today. So when you talk about the museum as being a history of signs, what it really is, it's a history of America as seen through the history of signs. And this is a little flavor about how Victorians would treat death beyond being an exquisite piece of gold leaf.